What makes a Porsche special lies outside the numbers, in the things you cannot see or touch. Is it the 28,000 race wins over 60 years? Is it the timeless shape, the balance? Is it the details that go into every technology, the power and the materials that make each Porsche more than just the sum of its parts? This is an evolution. Every single car informs the next. They all move Porsche ever forward. You're invited to take a journey through the legacy and future of Porsche, to experience the most successful race car manufacturer in history, and understand what it means to be the benchmark of high-performance automobiles. Oh, look at that! I've actually done it properly by just, by just clicking on the first thing I saw. I was like, oh, that sounds cool. I'm like, all right, so we're doing a Porsche career in a 918. Starting that, okay. I've heard this is an eight hour campaign as well. So we'll see, okay, this car is fast. Oh, look who I've got here already. I've got myself a Ferrari and a McLaren. Oh, and another Ferrari. I'm a brilliant race car driver. Uh, Mr. Prancing Red Horse, piss off. This car drives We Oh, the McLaren! Is that the McLaren? No, it's the Ferrari! The Ferrari's backwards! Why are they both green? It's very slidey. It's very slidey. Ugh. Weird 918. Oh my god. I mean, these driver tires are good as well. I put them on expert. Why does it keep stepping out? I could totally rear-wheel drive swap this and drift it. I could totally do it. I can already feel it. It wants to be drifted. Probably not, but I will do it anyways. Come on, 918. We gotta catch that McLaren. Do we actually know which one's faster? Do we actually know? Do we have a definitive answer? A, 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 an answer? Do we know? Don't hit the wall. You can usually take that corner faster. Oh, the McLaren's exploded! Oh, the Porsche's exploded! Oh, we're... Okay, there's about to be a big crash. There was a big crash. How have I done this? Oh, and the McLaren just walks! What? Nothing should be able to walk on a 918. That's crazy. Oh, the McLaren's wiggling about again. Look at him get out of the corner. He's gone. I, I can't do anything. I can't do anything about that. I have to get him in the corners. The McLaren is way too fast on the straights. Uh, wow, the gear changes are quick. PLZ drive the 82,911 turbo my dad has one. It's a very special to me. I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. I want to try to maybe not try all the cars today, but at least try some of them. I'm going to stream a little bit of this tomorrow as well. Oh, my vibration has just gone on my controller. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Feels weird. I don't like this. 918, uh, the Porsche is back. Uh, the Porsche, the, the 918, no, the, the Porsche. I mean the McLaren and what? Someone just exploded in the back. I don't know if you saw that. A car went flying through the air. That was unbelievable. This race, so many things are going wrong. And somehow I'm in first, drifting a 918. It's very slidey. Stop that. Come on. If a McLaren walks... Okay. I was like, if a McLaren's right behind me, he's gonna walk in front. No! 918. Anthology spans 60 years of Porsche history, grouped into three eras. In each era, you'll compete in a series of races that highlight innovations, iconic models, and motorsport success of the time. Then we'll deep dive into every car, learn what made each one legendary and unique, and experience them all on track. So, what I wanted to check out before I went to that race, and just jump <laughs> immediately into the career, was to actually check out the cars first. So, I don't think I can do that there. I have to go through cars, find a car, and then head over to... Por I love how it's yellow. They're like, hey, look at this! Anyways, so uh, you guys probably know a lot more about these cars than I do, so I'm just going to run through the list. You guys can uh, 
check it out and see what you guys like. The 918 is ridiculous. There's the 911 Turbo S. Thing's really cool. All wheel drive, super fast. GT2, GT3. I know there's already been uh, quite a number of people going, where's the Cayman GT4? And uh, there's a GT3 missing as well, I believe. I think it's, a, I think it's just the 911 GT3 that uh, people have been asking for. I mean, this list is not bad. I mean, it's got some really good things. Like, that's probably my favorite Porsche. And then close behind would have to be that, the GT2. I don't know. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. I finally got to watch you on stream. Jesus Christ. Here, take my money. Love, James. I mean, like... Oh, wow! Look at them all! Oh, they're up to five. I'm an angry Porsche. It's not exactly quick. I mean, it's very good looking. Doesn't what's his name have one of these? Jerry Seinfeld, doesn't he have one of these? Isn't that his crazy rare Porsche that he hides in the uh, in the undergrounds of New York? I'm, I think it might be one of these. Hey, not nice. Blue crew, please. It's not. Look at the body roll. It's gonna. It's. It has so much body roll. It's literally going to roll. Jesus, look at it. I turn in the whole car's like two wheeling almost. Come on, come on. Oh. No. Come on. I wonder how much money these cost now. If you were to buy an actual one. It'd be insane. You could go bankrupt on, on Porsches alone. Uh, uh, that one's worth a lot less now. Yeah, that's worth a lot less now. Come on, stop trying to do a wheelie. I mean, I wonder if this car could do a wheelie. We, we should probably try and do a wheelie build, I think. I think that would be a good idea. Come on. Come on, I'm catching them up. Top gear. I like how they have the, the exhaust in the middle. It's cool. I like. Come on. Come on. Don't! It's two wheelie! It lifted a wheel off the ground! How did this win any races? I would be driving it. I would be sick instantly. You'd be driving around the corner. You'd like... You would almost... Ah! You'd be so sick! It's insane. I sort of want to just add more power to this car and see what it's able to do. Because if it's rolling with this much horsepower, I would wonder what it'd be able to do if, say, it had... 500 more. Yay! Fireworks! And across the line! Yeah! 126. This really makes you appreciate the 918. Sort of in a different league. Just a bit. It just stops and it. Let's see. Will it dip? Oh, yeah. Every car. <laughs> They're all about to do wheelies. Alrighty. We're gonna go around the outside. Mr. Blue Crew, we are coming up hot. I don't know how I gain on a straight on cars that are supposedly identical to mine. The only reason why I wouldn't is if they let off, which I wouldn't understand them doing on a straight. I don't know. I mean, I don't know why someone would want to race this. That's the issue with this pack, I think. I know they don't have some, some G uh, the Cayman GT4. And a GT3 as well. They're sort of missing some stuff. I mean, a lot of it is copied over from Forza Horizon, obviously, but... I would have liked some new stuff, to be honest. I know we got the Flying Lizard. I know we got some, like, proper race cars. But there's nothing newer than 2012? In terms of, like, race cars? There's no, like, GT3 car. Which is, like, super, super disappointing. But, I don't know. Maybe they'll do something similar to the way they did it in Forza Horizon, where they were, like... Uh, a couple weeks later after the pack came out, they were like, Hey, if you go on and you do, like, this Rivals event or whatever, you can get the car for free. And then after that, no, nope, can't get it anymore. Not not available anymore. Hopefully they do that for something like the Cayman and the GT3. That'd be really cool. But for some reason, I have my doubts. I have my doubts. 
Also, I guess no no monthly car pack this week or this month, which uh, would sort of make sense. I, I guess we get the entire Porsche expansion, and then next month we go live with the uh, with the top gear pack, which is pretty pretty interesting. I, I'm interested to see what's going to be in that because top gear is uh, let's just let's, let's call that interesting as well. It's having some issues. I don't think we're going to get another expansion. Maybe a track. Maybe we might get a track. Other than that, not much. Actually, you know what? E3 will get a track, probably. So April, done. Then pack. Then uh, then track in, in June. I mean, that would make sense. I don't know. Let's talk about it. Figure out what is coming for Forza Motorsports. The future of Forza. Come on, I don't want to finish fourth. This is going to be my first Porsche loss. Come on! No lifting. No lifting. Using all the track available. I'm ca I'm gaining. I'm gaining. Look how far the yellow guy is, though. Ah! Fourth place up to third. Break. Huge jelly car. Yeah, up to third. All right, closing in on second and first. Close the gap quite a bit. Come on. Come on. Oh, yellow guys run wide. White guys run run wide. I'm closing the gap. I hit white guy. Second place. Come on. Come on. I'm closing in. Yellow guy's pulling a little bit. Yellow guy takes weird lines. Come on. He's right there. He's right there. There's nothing I can do about it. Stay flat. Stay flat. No lifting here. It's my only chance I'm going to have to catch him. Come on. He's pulling down the hill. No lifting. No lifting. Come on. Come on, Porsche. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. <laughs> Come on, buddy. And that is how you do that. Got him. Hit him. Got a, got a little too close. All right, there we go.